you know, it's strange. Every time I try to recall how we got to this point, I just remember being really angry about a mattress. Wonder if that means it was all a dream. Oh well, this is probably fine. So this is the celestial tree. So yeah, this is uh this is a big fucking tree. Do you think you could have sounded a little bit less condescending about this? So that's some good perspective shifting. Take some doing to get that effect with a pan. What a breathtaking sight! This is a huge colony, made up of countless trees growing in symbiosis. I've never seen a colony of this size and vitality. Most colonies would have decayed from the inside, turning into hollow vestiges. Thank you, Liud. It was very important was that we get the nitpicking out of the way first. The cave and diadem. Right, yeah, it's very important that we understand and that this is it. many trees. For some reason. Water. Air. I, I don't really get it. What's on your mind, Shoa? Oh, it's nothing. Man, this is absolutely getting burned. Is it really here? Is the third end Magnus around here somewhere? Hey, hold on, Sibia. Come on, Kala, search your feelings. You know it's right Where up at the top. You're going? This area is off limits. Strangers aren't allowed to set foot here. Turn back immediately. So, you're one of the keepers, huh? Of course. Please don't make things difficult. Maybe has caused enough trouble already. Maybe? What's wrong? She seems to have gone up the tree on her own. Her grandmother fell sick all of a sudden. Tree vermin have really been worked up lately, which means it's extra dangerous. Climbing the tree without permission is strictly forbidden, even for experienced keepers. So anyway, obviously we're just gonna let her she die rather than doing anything about it. Celestial tree. Seems normal. No! Wait, Sabina. You can't go. Sorry, lady. We're in a bit of a hurry here. I'm sorry. Please excuse us. Don't worry. We'll find Mayfi for you and bring her back safe and sound. Oh, it's okay. See, we we made a half-hearted promise to bring back the child. So, you know, no. Now, now they have to let us go. All of you. Don't say Wait, since our party is doing the pragmatic thing, that means that obviously we're actually going to wind up making this a thousand times worse by way of our meddling, and we should have just let her die. Anyway, so first things first, uh, we're going to take this left branch, because for whatever reason, the game gives you Savina at level... at, uh class three but that that treasure chest in the ledge right above us that's her class four item i, I don't know a uh, little bit of logistical balancing games of this point they have to fuck up something like this once or twice it's like it's basically inevitable Anyway, there is uh, very little to say about any of these new enemies. The uh, the bats are exactly what you think they are. And they're bats. They do wind damage, and they they have a supersonic attack that can cause a couple different ailments. I think the most the only one I ever got hit with is poison. So you know, whatever. They're they're JRPG bats. They're the goddamn bats. They're the zoo bats. We know this. The, uh, the big shrimp thing is a fire bug. That's... He can do an attack buff. That's really the only thing of note about him. Yeah. 
I, I mean, I guess I can see how it might be a problem if there's two of them and one of anything else, but... And though, can they buff each other or only themselves? Oh, they can do- they can buff anybody. Nice. So yeah, I guess the game could be an enormous dick by having a couple of them and one of something else. Ah, it's all just RPG priority juggling, I guess. I mean, the implication here is that one of them on their own is less of a threat because they only spend every other turn actually attacking you. Well, they don't always, they don't always buff, but, but yes. What a... I mean, one one enemy on their own isn't really much of a threat anyway. But uh, yeah, hey, let's talk about Savina for a second. Uh, she has a gimmick, question mark, in that her, all of her attacks are ludicrously fast. Like, it is extremely easy to lose combos with her because by the time you, you're trying to select the next card, you've already finished the attack. And speed poker, then. She's also, for whatever reason, she's a lot like Jabari in that, like, 99% of her cards will come in only, like, two elements, and then she gets a couple of everything else. Uh, in this case, it's fire and water is basically all that Savina gets. So, she is very much a one-trick pony. She does that trick pretty damn well, though. Can we let uh, the, those wings go unmentioned? I don't think we can let those wings go unmentioned. I mean, what the content of that mention is, I have absolutely no idea, but... Nothing. It is not nothing. I mean, you know... Shella's got these nice little rainbow wings, Callus has a mechanical wing... Savina's a peacock. What 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 do you what do you want to do about it? I mean, I want to comment on it. Something something wings of the heart. I'm not sure I'm not sure what it says about her heart that she's a peacock, but you know, whatever. Uh anyway, I'm I'm deeply unhappy about having to climb the whole way up and back down real slowly. It's like a minor thing, but... Yeah, thank god, there's only like three actual climbing sections, although there are a couple dead ends, and if you accidentally walk into them, you will be very upset when you have to climb back down because all oh, the shit. enemies have respawned, and there's like three bats in the way, and they're impossible to avoid. Nobody ever, ever likes the bats. It's, it's like the law, you're not allowed to have bats if they're not a complete pain to fight. This is true of all games, of all genres. Doesn't matter if you're a JRPG or a hack and slash, bats are always annoying. I think the only game I can remember in which the bats were a complete non-issue is Ninja Gaiden Black. And I guess that's because bats were just filler, and the actual bats were just... Like, the, the conceptual bats in Ninja Gaiden were just some other ninjas who were lying around the place. But that's it, that's the only time I haven't been annoyed you by bats. Right, yes. Thanks for coming for me, Savina. What were you thinking coming up here all alone? Being a keeper, you should know how dangerous this place is. <sighs> I'm sorry. I just got ridiculously place? overconfident, so overconfident because something? somebody caused me to think that literal I god was on my side. Find a celestial flower bed. Wonder who that was. What an asshole. Mystery for the ages. I wish I was strong and brave like you. Don't be silly. Strong and brave like me? You've got quite an imagination. I'm not really so... Don't make too much of me. You need to believe in yourself, Mayfi. And live your life in your own way. 
Real inspiration. Okay. Now can we get off this tree? So what's next? Is she going? What if us? instead we kept climbing the tree? Of course. We can't leave her alone here. Besides, when we get to the top, we'll be needing Mayfi's help. She's a keeper, you know. Ah, so it's trespass then. Will you help us, Mayfi? Is it really trespassing if we have the legal if we have like the legal guardians with us when we trespass? I mean The whole thing seems real suspect. Like I feel like there's a whole hierarchy going on here and we're just kind of stepping on it. Like, we know what we're doing. We're like, no, it's not technically a crime. And we're like, okay, but if you have to ask, you know? So hidden in this cave is a golden beetle. We're going to take it with us. Of course we are. I mean, it's not the dumbest thing that we've put in a card yet. No, it is not. It is not. Uh, anyway, I'm um, immediately suspicious of this. Well, I mean, we've got a boss fight literally right up after this climb, so right. you know, it is seems... Right, like I said, that was pretty we much what I was suspicious of. I know why save points exist in the middle of dungeons. I'm watching this back and I genuinely have no idea why I included this fight. I guess we're about to find out. I mean, uh, it might have might have had something to do with repeatedly using fire on that thing. know what it was now. Okay, so uh, if you were paying attention at the end of the last video, you'll notice that we got a new camera. This is camera two. And you might be thinking, okay, the camera just, you know, takes pictures of enemies. How could, how can we improve that? You can get a wide angle lens on there. As you, if you check the, uh, the description of that, it will tell you that it takes Better pictures of fast-moving enemies. Ah. DSLR. It turns out that there is, an, in addition to the many other layers of bullshit on this game, not only do you take pictures for money, your pictures are actually graded on quality. Which is also you what you'll... In, you may remember a video, a video or two ago we talked about how you could, like, it's raise and lower the light level by using light and dark cards. Uh huh. Can you remove this? That's also part of this. Uh huh. Uh -huh. If it's too dark or too light, you will get bad pictures, and they will sell for significantly less money. This is incredible. This is like the best goddamn thing I've heard about this game. That should do it. So like. Do you just carry these two different cameras around and use the right camera on the right enemy in the right environment for fun and profit? And the love of the craft? I know. Pretty much quite literally, yes. Ooh. That's like... I'm, 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 I rate this mechanic a solid 3 out of 5 Hideo's Kojima. Uh, anyway, what's the plan here? We're, uh... We're just prepping for the boss here. You're gonna want fire, obviously. Just like everything in this in this general area, fire is the way to go. Fire seems like a good thing to bring to a tree if you want to do violence, although, you know, like, again, 
can't help but find that a tad foreboding. But what are you going to do? Also, the game has given us a person with fire capabilities, so it was going to be either that or water. It must be. This is the heart of the celestial tree where its flowers bloom. An old woman once told me of this. She also spoke of a dreadful power lying dormant within the tree. What she didn't tell me was how one could release that power from its slumber. But I'm sure you know what to do. Oh, we're called the hell out. Anyway, this feels like one of those situations where, like, the entire evil empire plan could be foiled if we- if it could ever occur to us to just, like, not. You would think. I'm actually surprised that Callus didn't directly point this- I mean, like, I guess he has a couple times. But that- that does seem like a very Callus thing to point out and just be like, What if we just didn't? Each and all must pay the price. It would be very fitting. What then. will thou contribute? Is the celestial tree talking? No, it's not. It's the voice of a guardian which resides in this tree. The guardian of the third and Magnus. I mean, I'm gonna say that might actually just be the tree, Jella. I mean, it's as likely as not. Well, okay, let's go burn down the heart of a civilization. Hey, it's got tentacles. That's sort of a gimmick, right? Good. A pretense of provocation. I, I don't know how we think that this is going to end up end up going, or how we think this is going to end up being framed. But like, I, I don't know. We're supposed to have, we're supposed to have a pragmatic party leader. You'd think that we would be able to see this catastrophe coming from miles off. It'll be fine. Like, look, see, this is a very controlled burn. I mean, the burn, the burn is controlled, but we're going to wind up setting things on fire with that controlled burn. Like you can't, you can't just say, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to direct some fire here and then call it a controlled burn. You can't just, that's not, that's not how this works, okay? Anyway, this fight uh, is pretty much exactly what you're expecting. The uh, the tentacles can put you to sleep, which is obnoxious. But uh, otherwise, the worst you have to watch out for is a five-hit combo from the heart. It does mostly water and light damage, and its finisher can inflict uh, paralysis. I saw death resistance bonus pop up there. That seems foreboding. Well, that's because that's, uh, one of our pieces of armor had that. That that comes up every time you use the, an armor that has a relevant stat boost. Well, that's fair. Anyway, did I, did I see you using a fishing rod on the heart earlier? I did! That's, uh, you may remember that we had some bamboo shoots a long time ago? Uh -huh. That then turned into bamboo spears? Well, that's that is the end. That is the end result of our uh, of our bamboo. So we just we just left some bamboo set there, this elemental essence inside a piece of paper, and it just turned into a fish rod with, with like a line and reel and everything. Absolutely, that is quite some bamboo. Why are we using it on the heart of the tree? Because I didn't realize it and didn't take it out of Callus's deck. Fair enough. I thought there was going to be some kind of, like, Chaos 6 gimmick to this. I mean, it does look like a blob of water. 
Yeah, I'm sure that the the fishing rod does have some combo attached to it, because like all of those useless ones do. Like we played Twilight Princess, we know how this works. There's always something. Besides, I, I might add a, at least another half of a Hideo Kojima if there are like a bunch of random incredible uses for every esoteric item. Like, I don't make these rules. My hands would be tied. I guess there sort of are, but like, they're mostly just kind of hard-coded combos. Like, there's nothing too wildly out of place. The most interesting you get is things like, oh, if you use the pine tree and then you use the knife, you will get a little bonsai as as one of your reward magnets that you can sell for a bunch of money. Nice. The, the, these things, these things in games, they're always just hard coded. I mean, very, very little of this, very little of this is really procedural. I mean, like people, people think about stuff like I don't know, uh, off the top of my head, the synergies and binding of Isaac. Those are all hard coded. They've, those things have all just been thought of in advance, and they're like, right, I'm gonna put a little logic in. This is where you have this thing and that thing, it makes this other thing, which is technically unique. It's all just like how much stuff the developers can think of, and how much sense they can make it make, and how hard they can sell it to you when the time comes. Put all this together, and sometimes the illusion holds, and you end up with this, like, weird, emergent, genius stuff. And sometimes you end up with using a fishing rod to distract Ganondorf. It's all video games, man. Anyway, on a completely unrelated note, I'm getting, like, Final Fantasy X aesthetic vibes from this, even though, like, it's just aesthetic, but this thing basically just looks like Sparamorph on a wall. I can't stop seeing it. I can... I can see that. Like we're in the water area and everything. Anyway, I, yeah, I, I believe I cut you off earlier. What's... what's up? But yeah, so, uh, that's... that's everything to see in this fight. The, uh... If you take long enough, it will eventually revive the tentacles, but you have to... You have to really take your time to get there. And Nero was thinking it would be one of those things where, like, the tentacles are a constant threat that you have to keep managed, or you could, like, go all out on an, on an offense. But I guess it's just, no, you're supposed to just kill them and then fight the boss. That's kind of disappointing. I mean, you can do a fight like that. It's just one of those things that you really don't need to. And I'll, you probably actually could just rush the boss and be done extremely quickly because there's not a lot to it. Behold the mercy of Malthurcio. Well, let's see how well this is going to go. I'm sure eventually one of these is going to work out fine for us. Hey, look at that. We... Did it? Question mark? We... Didn't burn everything down? Like, really? It just works? We, we just get away with this? Yeah. It just works. We did it! We fixed the tree! Well, shit. Game over, guys. Go home. You did it. Now I don't know what to believe. <laughs>